Hello Jenny. Congrats on 125 subscribers. Uh, very wonderful question. Kind of plays upon the theme Mr. Robert Z did for his VC lottery. But uh, I wasn't making videos at the time. And now I am. And I can kind of respond now to the intent of his video and meet what uh, you're trying to do with yours. So I, I hope you'll like this contest entry. But uh, before I get into who really instigated me getting to make videos, uh, let me talk about uh, my history with the VC. So, I have been watching videos for four years now, and the VC has been so enlightening to me. I mean, if it wasn't for the VC, I wouldn't have known about great albums like this by Jim O'Rourke. I mean, look at the cover. The cover says it all. And, you know, there was a wonderful thread on this album. And, you know, to top that off, it came with this awesome poster. Check that out. Bruce Lee, Naked Boy, Bicycle. You know, this is great. I mean, this is modern art here. Can't get any better than that. Then I had a really nice sensor. Yeah, check it out. And this is not based on a whole thing. I mean, he has another album, which I'm looking to get. If it wasn't for the BC, I just wouldn't have known. So, that goes to the very beginning of the VC. But the VC has had such wonderful threads and moments that, you know, the newer viewers probably would not have seen or probably don't even know about. I took a chance on something. This is the first time I took a chance on something. I'm going to wait for a while, but my initial thought is this is crap. I, it looked interesting, though. Four-way anal touch fight. What the, f what the hell is an anal touch fight? And the name of the album is Heritage. Then I looked at the titles, Power Finger, Space Ass, Flying Saucer Pilot. This is about the funniest thing I think I've ever seen on the vinyl community. I, I gotta show it. Derek, this is the funniest, this is the most hilarious thing. Hold on. Alright. This is the first time I took a chance on something. I'm gonna wait for a while, but my initial thought is this is crap. It looked interesting, though. Four-way anal touch fight. What the, f what the hell is an anal touch fight? The name of the album is Heritage. Uh, I gotta watch it again. You know, I thought to myself, how, how, can, how bad can it be? Um, you know, I think the, the band name kind of gives it a... You think negatively about it, like, right off the bat. Um, you know, and even by the, the track titles... Space ass, of, of course, uh, pelvis, <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, you know, how bad could it be? So I hope you enjoyed it because, you know, just seeing that line of videos, and this was a very, very long thread, you know, uh, including an uh, effort to try and send this record to like 26 different VC members. Nobody knows the outcome. And it was supposed to go back to Derek, the signed version. So, you know, there's a lot of VC history that I think people are missing, and it's one of those great threats, but I wouldn't have known about this wonderful album if it wasn't for that. But there have been other moments, like these two guys. Much more professional looking, isn't it? <laughs> You guys, his last video that he just put up is real short, but it cracks the it cracks the shit out of me, man. Uh, see if you can hear it here. Let me turn this up. Okay. Just listen. Just listen to the audio. Much more professional looking, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's gonna fuck, his head's gonna fucking explode with his laugh. I love it. I love it. Much more professional looking, isn't it? Sounds <laughs> 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 like he's gonna fuck, his head's gonna fucking explode with his laugh. I love it. I love it.
he's gonna fucking <laughs> explode with his laugh. I love it. I love it. So I love you too, Nate. Okay. And there have been other moments, like with these two guys. Hello. Andreas here, Grecian Thunder. Decided I'd try a different angle for the Wax Diabolique, number 22. Um, got a bunch to show you here, so uh, get ready. Right now, we're listening to a little Ronnie Laws. Hey, Andreas. How are you? So, I was just laying here thinking, um, <sighs> yeah, that I'd answer your threat. So, you know, I'll never forget that time I, uh, watched your video and got to see you, uh, kick him back in bed and thought you'd make a video. So I thought, yeah, why not? Sounds good. The VC has such wonderful moments and such colorful characters. I mean, take a look at these guys. Hello, Robert. Hello, VC. Stop the love. Coming to you from my love con. BC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back here to post a quick video. Let me adjust my camera here a little bit. John, did you have to put Joe on a month that has 31 days? Work with me, man, all right? Um, now, there isn't anything in here that says I gotta be listening to the flippin' Beatles for the entire month of May, is there? Is there any hidden, like, rules on this thing anywhere? Because if I gotta listen to the Beatles and look at Joe for the entire month of May, I'm diving off the tallest building in town. I, I'm of the belief that you can put this music in front of anything, and on a scale of one to 10, it's an 11. It makes it an, an epic 11. I did that, I would, put this, I would put this record on, I'd watch TV, and, and I'd turn the, the music down and watch the Nature Channel, and all of a sudden, the tiger looks ferocious as it lunges for its prey. Now, Answer your question. What really got me into doing videos after commenting for three years on numerous videos? Well, it was a series of events, and I, I will get into the person that did nudge me, but uh, that person, yeah, I was getting ready to do it, and I was like, him and ha, and do I really want to have my face out in the public? But there were three other people that we're doing things that, you know, really tip the iceberg and I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I gotta do this. I have to respond to these threads. So, uh, number one uh, was Corey's video on Seal to Reveal. So I had to do a response to that one. Then there was John K. Techhead with his record investor threat. I had to contribute to that. And then, you know, there was Two Turtle, which, you know, he did some threads, and, you know, he, he was doing stuff about, you know, system setup, which fascinated me. So, it's those three individuals that were kind of the tipping point for me for making a video. Now, who was the person that did it? It was Dr. Dead Wax. So, I sent him a VCLT package, and we Skyped and he talked and he said make a video so uh, it took me a while and I did but I mean who can't love Dr. Deadwax I mean his inbox challenge not once but twice were so inspiring and it had so many great moments like this 
Hey everybody, it's Mark, Dr. Delirious, and it's time for the Inbox Challenge 2, Day 18. Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark, Dr. Baldwax, and it's time for the Inbox Challenge 2, Day 24. Hey everybody, Mark, Dr. Deadbox, back for Day 19 of the Inbox Challenge, and today's numbers were picked by uh, the Zeke Geek Zach. So. Next is Mike Rutherford. This is his second solo album, Acting Very Strange. There's the back cover. Um, possibly the worst solo record released by any member of an A-tier progressive rock band. Definitely. Of the ones I've heard. And I've heard a lot. Now, then I turn the record over. And then there's another song on here called Couldn't Get Arrested. Where they repeat couldn't get arrested over and over again. More than they repeated the line in the other song. They, It's well over a hundred times he says couldn't get arrested in his not so great singing voice. And I was going to play the record again and count them because I was kind of getting a little fixated on this. And then I realized if I did that, it might be the end of the Inbox Challenge. So there you have it. Mark Dr. Deadwax was a man that got me into doing videos ultimately. I've been watching him for the longest time. He was talking about different pressings and you know, what goes into the dead wax of the vinyl, and I found that so fascinating. But, you know, there are so many great moments that are out there, and, you know, so many great channels, and there's, like, so many people I'd like to put into this video, and I apologize if I didn't call you out, or if you don't like this video, and I used one of your clips, and you're offended, then, yeah, I'll take this guy down. But, please let me know. But, you know, just one more. I mean, who can forget when Chris at Dixieland farm tormented his poor wife with free jazz. Uh, we're just going to put on a uh, CD I listened to today. This is John Coltrane, a well-known person in jazz. Um, this is the album Ascension. Okay, this is free jazz. Now this is a, uh, you know, any jazz person's collection. You know, this would be a cornerstone. Like the, like the essential. Right. This would be, um, a good represent a representation free jazz. Uh, okay. Tell me what you're feeling. It sounds like an orchestra tuning up before a performance. Okay. Are they actually going to start playing? No, that's it. That's this is this is this is the song. This is a 43 minute song. It sounds like the the Muppet Show band tuning up before the start of the Muppet Show. All right. Now to be fair, you're only 31 seconds in. And I'm I'm already. Okay. So let's. Let's let's give a little more. Let's see if you, you know, what 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 gets evoked out of you here. I'm thinking middle school band performance. It's making me angry. It angries up the blood. So you're saying this is not for you? It's not for me. See, here's the thing. Here's the problem I have with the vinyl community. What the hell? I mean, just play the freaking right note. Play any note. Give me, give me something with a melody to it. Perhaps a discernible beat would be nice. I don't think that's too much to ask for in uh, in any particular musical genre. I get to listen to stuff like this travesty of nature um, while I'm trying to work with Chris in the barn on the weekends. That, that's actually not true. No, it's very true. It's don't, true. Don't let him lie to you. Um, I, Uh, that didn't work out too well.